at 56 years old lady with idiopathic thrombocytopenic purpura has a platelet count only 50. She is due to undergo splenectomy. What is the optimum timing of platelet transmission in the cases? That means a 56 years old lady suffering from idiopathic thrombocytopenic purpura and platelet count is very low patient undergoing splenectomy but during the procedure when we should give platelet have the options options are 24 hours pre-operatively two hours pre-operatively whilst making the skin incision after ligation of the splenic artery on removal of the spleen so when we should give platelet so first of all let's see in case of the itp splenic sequestration of the platelet that means in case of idiopathic thrombocytopenic purpura the platelet usually uh, acquired or destroyed by the splenic tissue so when is splenic present in this condition we should not give the platelet transmission because the platelet will be destroyed or occupied by this spleen so platelet transmission should be carefully time out too soon that it may be ineffective that means it will be destroyed by the spleen and too late it causes unnecessary bleeding so when should we give the blood we should give the blood just after splenic artery ligation so when the splenic artery ligated blood cannot go to the spleen at that time we can give the platelet now let's see some important indication of the splenectomy first of all trauma due to iatrogenic grade 5 uh, there is a higher grade of the splenic injury is splenectomy indicated spontaneous rupture by the epistan bar virus hyper splenism malignancy and splenic cyst hydratic cyst and splenic abscess what are the complications of the splenectomy the most common complication is the post-operative or lifelong infection which is the streptococcus pneumonia hemophilus influenza and Neisseria meningitis so streptococcus pneumonia hemophilus influenza Neisseria meningitis they are the complication of the splenectomy other complication including the hemorrhage pancreatic fistula and thrombocytosis so in this condition prophylactic lactic aspirin should be given so what are the complication of the splenectomy most common is the step pneumonia hemophilus influenza and Neisseria meningitis infection and what are the changes the changes are how jolly body Papenheimer body splenic increase risk of splenic sepsis and prophylactic antibiotics and pneumococcal vaccine should be given post splenectomy sepsis may develop and platelet will be rise fast this point is also very very important and after splenectomy platelet will increase then how jolly body Papenheimer body found splenectomy sepsis may be developed so when we should platelet transfuse in this case it is just after ligation of the splenic artery we should not give 24 hours before operation or two hours after operation or whilst there is making skin incision because within this time it will go to the spleen and spleen will conserve this platelet and on removal of this spleen it is the far far less within this time as the there is less platelet in the body so there is the chance of the bleeding so it should be given just after ligation of the splenic artery